Flashback to 2017 Destiny. Age of Triumph had just launched and Destiny 2 had just gotten announced. Over the coming months, Bungie would reveal it was looking to change three of our beloved subclasses for the grand sequel. The goal was to give subclasses a more focused gameplay style instead of Destiny 1, where some classes struggled to have an identity or personality. And thus, we were introduced to Dawnblade Warlock, Sentinel Titan, and Arc Strider Hunter. Ironically, most of these subclasses launched subpar, but have since been improved or have been bloated enough that they are considered meta. Sentinel Titan has had a hero's journey of buffs and additions to it, with 1.3 being the final major buff to the subclass. Dawnblade Warlock has remained PvP dominant since the Go Fast update in Season 3, and has been crammed into the PvE meta with the addition of Level of Radiance, making it a staple of most raid setups until Big Dick Rolk pulled up. However, there is one subclass that has remained waddling in its filth to this day, failing to make a dent into either PvP or PvE. Arc Strider. I don't know what was going on with the subclass when designed. As mentioned before, this was meant to replace Blade Dancer from Destiny 1, since invisibility had become more of a Night Stalker ability. It was designed to be the Warrior Monk subclass, taking inspiration from Eastern Martial Arts for its perks and playstyle. This resulted in the class being focused around melee, which, for old content, is pretty risky in a game about guns. After you resign to use your melee as a replacement to your primary, turn your hunter into a fluently punching god. In reality, it both plays clunky and inefficient. Since melee locks onto a single target, it's hard to combo blows to make it feel fluent. It also lacks efficiency since, yeah, you can melee everything to death, but why do that when it takes both longer and is more risky than just, say, shooting them? Bottom tree is even worse. It was clearly designed to be a PvP-focused subclass, however its biggest draws are emulated in more classed and more stylish ways with other hunter subclasses. Disorienting Blows is good at getting the upper hands in melee fights, however it has such pitiful range of effect that it's really weak to use. Focus Breathing is designed to keep the uptime on dodge, as well as make Arc Strider feel more mobile than the other subclasses. The issue is that subclasses like Night Stalker and Revenant have more movement abilities that outclass the increased sprint speed given by a Combat Meditation is single-handedly the worst subclass perk in Destiny history. Critically Wounded is not a state you are in for long, and you either die or recover. There is a reason why perks like Pulse Monitor have been critically panned by the community. Trying to get Critically Wounded to work as a win state without some way to recover health is impossible. Lightning Reflexes makes you harder to kill while dodging. Finally, a decent fucking perk. Over this one makes it to Arc Trick Phono in some capacity. With some subclasses, such as Arc Strider being in such a weak state, Bungie had an opportunity forsaken with middle trees to buff them with the addition of a new super and kit. Every subclass, as a result, got a new kit that helped breathe life into the subclass with a cool new super to boot. Except Arc Strider. And Sentinel Titan would shut up. Unlike Arc Strider, Sentinel's new branch existed to add to its already existing well playing abilities. Plus, it already had a second super, Horde of Dawn. Arc Strider instead got Whirlwind Guard, holding down block deflects projectiles back at enemies. Ironically, this is similar to the late Middle Tree Sentinel, as both involved using block to assist your team. The difference is that Banner Shield gives multiple benefits, while Whirlwind Guard gives nothing supportive but protection against projectiles. It lacks any supportive utility that Banner Shield has. The only bonus is increasing your Arc Staff damage, but that means lowering your already small guard for your teammates. All for a super that is already pretty mid at ad clear DPS. The strangest part is that it keeps getting exotics paired with it. Raiju's Harnessed and Blight Ranger are both exotics designed for middle tree. Hell, both exotics feel like they should be direct components of the super given Whirlwind Guard's lackluster utility without them. The rest of the subclass perks are alright. They're arguably the most consistent Arc Strider perks, however, unlike the other subclass, they feel kind of independent of each other with very little synergy. Tempest Strike allows you to shoot into the air and launch lightning across the ground. While I'm personally not a fan of movement-based melees besides Unga Bunga Shoulder Charge, Tempest Strike definitely has potential as something similar to Shatter Dive for Arc 3.0. Lightning Weave is a decent reload perk, while also keeping the melee aspect of the subclass, and Ebb and Flow plays into the energy spam part of Arc subclasses. Overall, it does an alright job. Meleeing targets feels a little bit extra, but I can get the idea they're going for. It feels like Arc Strider was definitely meant to be the disorient-based Arc subclass, however its issue is it has to shoehorn in melee in every equation. The ironic part about Arc Strider is its whole gimmick of being melee-focused is overshadowed by another Arc subclass. 
The Chad Thundercock Striker Titan is also focused around melee, but instead of being a martial arts class, it's more of a soldier-themed class. Melee recharges grenade ability, gaining an additional grenade, melee kills trigger health regen, melee kills give bonus weapon damage and stability, and to top it off with a super with enough AoE to ground pound the enemies and their mothers, plus exotics that boost the damage to make it viable for boss DPS. In conclusion, Striker does what Arc 10 don't. With Arc 3.0 coming out soon, it's hard to say what will become of our estranged pole dancer. We know that the spear from Psyops Battlegrounds is a preview of the Arc rework, so who knows, maybe Arc Strider will get a new Spears of Destruction super. Or maybe Bungie will just make the super do increased damage when you're critically wounded. In conclusion, buff hunters.